Yes? What did you need? Sensing your magicka reserves. Weapons up. I sense some. You did pretty good out there. Nice work. What is it? Before my father became obsessed with the prophecy, Mother and I spent quite a bit of time together. She was very fond of her alchemical garden in the castle courtyard. She taught me quite a bit about cultivating quality regions. Like the best of friends. I would never hesitate to share anything with her. It was very sudden. It was almost like one day we were a normal family, and then the next, I didn't know who they were. I'd try to visit my mother in the garden, and she'd quickly shoo me away, saying she was much too busy. She had to be up to something in that garden. I'm hoping it's a clue that will tell us where she went. I like to explore. My parents almost never let me off the island, so yeah, I poked around down here a lot. It was a little quieter back then. Guess a little vampire girl was enough to scare off the rats. I was, but I think I turned out okay. Well... Growing up the way I did, you get used to it. A little bit. That's one of the reasons I wanted to come with you. But what about you? Do you get lonely? Are there people in your life? Well, I guess now you have one more. Me too. Anyway, this is all very touching. But don't we have some more important things to worry about right now?
shalt have yours. Just head for the door. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... well... Dead. It's like we're the first foot here in centuries. This used to lead to the castle's great hall. It looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful, once. This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing, and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something? I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Well... As far as I'm aware, it's the only one in existence. The previous owners of the castle had a sundial in the courtyard, and obviously that didn't appeal to my mother. She persuaded an elven artisan to make some improvements. You can see the plates that show the phases of the moons, Masser and Secunda. That's the thing. What's the point of a moon dial? I always wondered why she didn't just have the whole thing ripped out. But she loved it. I don't know. I guess it's like having a piece of art, if you're into that sort of thing. Hard to say. Maybe if we found the missing crests, we could figure it out. If I had to guess, I'd say the moment Mother fled the castle, Father went on a rampage. Knowing him, anything at all that reminded him of her was destroyed. It appears that way. I suppose he wanted to put the past behind him. Perhaps if he spent more time with us, he would have recognized the beauty for himself. There's not a whole lot to tell. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough. My father? No, not really. I did spend a lot of time with my mother, but she saw me more like a protege than a daughter. What about you? What were your parents like? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up a bad memory. Let's... Uh, let's just keep going.
Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I'd bet they run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. What now? Hey, so... It's just... It's a hard thing to be around you, for me. I've been trying to make my peace with it, but I just can't help feeling, well, hungry. I know, I know, but just... Anyway, please, it's... Your dragon blood. It's so good. It'd damn well better work. I'm hungry. Hold still. Thanks. I'm glad you're here with me. No, you've got it all wrong. You want me. I can see that. I'm not stupid. But, I can't even begin to imagine how to be just a normal human for you. Don't tell me you're that naive. Given how I've lived, what I've done, it's not something I'm going to get involved with. It's just... It's not for me. I'm not sure it's really your place to judge me. Wait. I want us to be friends. I... I can't do that. It makes me a little uneasy. That's something for the living. But you're right. I just need to do something for you. This payment. I... I don't know. I've... Never had a friend. Sure... Oh, damn it. What was it? Okay, here goes. Not very impressive, is it? Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? My mother taught me a trick or two. I don't think that's something you want. But if you want to know the whole story, my mother and I spent quite a bit of time together, preparing before we gave ourselves to Molik Ball. Not really wholesome family activity, but I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. It was kind of sick, actually. But she loved it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not as much. But we all took part in it. Not the most normal childhood, but I think I turned out okay. I think we've talked about that enough. A little bit. It's not easy. Look, you're great, really. Just give me a little time. That wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. And thanks for asking. I can tell this is important to you. I'm nothing if not persuasive.
I'm a sorceress, and a damn good one too. Turns out my mother was sneakier than I thought. I wonder what she's hiding. seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Ahem. My fellow traveling companion, doesn't this courtyard look nice? It's serene in a certain way, and uniquely beautiful. Like a certain... I... Um... Maybe. Well... Actually... Yeah. The garden actually didn't age well. No, I wasn't talking about you. Well, I was. Well... It's entirely possible. Now, enough of that. We got a job to do.
My fellow traveling companion, doesn't this courtyard look nice? It's serene in a certain way. My fe- It's serene in a certain way, and uniquely beautiful, like a certain... I... um... No, I wasn't talking about you. Well, now, enough of that. We've got a job to do. Well done, Serana. Nice. You really are as eloquent as an ice wraith. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. I had always just assumed that the other tower was completely destroyed inside. My mother kept this a secret, even from me. She must have been up to something she thought was dangerous. Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. I... there's this wretched memory which haunts me. Makes me miserable every time. Let's just keep moving, all right? We're getting close. I'm sure of it. All right. Yeah, actually. This might seem a bit heavy, but hear me out. What's your outlook on life? What gets you up every morning? Me too. Just getting pent up on that island. Ugh. It feels so good to be outside and adventuring for once. We're getting close. I'm sure of it.
I'd bet there's some sort of secret passage around here. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Leave it to my mother. Always smarter than I gave her credit for. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Turn mother was sleeping. I wonder what she's Look at this. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all of this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... Something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we find her research notes, there might be some hints in there. Hey, so... talk to me. It's... Well, it's about me. It's... It's strange. I just need to figure out what's happening. It's hard to describe. I feel a little warmer now. I've been asking myself the same thing since we... You know... Did it. I don't know. It makes no sense to me. But it's obviously... Something. No, not really. I've been wanting something else. If that's alright. All right, then. Wow. This feels like the right way. Kind of soothing, actually. <laughs> I don't have the faintest idea. I'm a little nervous about all of this. Yes. Friends. Thank you. Keep searching for her notes. She probably had a journal or something. I had no idea that her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Oh? What is it? I do. My mother tapped me back on the island. That kind of thing came along with my alchemy training. I may not be the gourmet, but I can sure whip up a great stew. If you want, I could make some for you sometime. I knew you were going to ask. Here, a home-cooked stew just for you.
Any luck yet? You did? Let me see. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The Soul Cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls, and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give a safe passage into the Soul Cairn. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood. Which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that it's good enough. Mistakes with these kinds of portals can be gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Get the ingredients in the vessel, and let me know when you're ready. The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Nobody really knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them, and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to communicate with them. You give the Ideal Masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very business-like. Because most of those stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the Necromancers, who end up dead, or wishing they were dead. Just get all of to the vessel. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Are you ready to go? I'm not- Of course. What is it? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me, about all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible, before he really went over the edge. Yes. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? Alright, here goes. By the blood of my ancestors. She actually did it. Created a portal to the Soul King. Incredible. Incredible. Simply incredible. I'm ready when you are.
smell like anything. But looks like we'll be dealing with the smell of rot while we're here. Lovely. If she really is here, I wonder how my mother managed to deal with it. How do you manage to deal with it then? Me? I smell like nightshade and snowberries. Oh, you know what? You should be talking. I have a heightened sense of smell, you know. If you think you smell like blossoms after frolicking in a fetid cave, you are sorely mistaken. But, hey, you're actually not too bad. For a well-groomed bear. Horker face. Well, that is just not true anymore. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we... We're being awfully carefree, aren't we? I mean, for being trapped in a realm of oblivion with no guaranteed return. It's... nice, really. To just... have fun. Have someone who can help me forget about all the prophecies. Elder Scrolls, betrayals, and this... Awful God's curse reek. About all of this, even for a brief moment. I'm starting to like you, okay? You're growing on me. And what I said is true, though I definitely wouldn't want to end up here for all eternity. We got a job to do. Let's find my mother and find a way out of here. The air, the ground, this is all wrong. Just what my mother told me. I've also studied a little bit on my own, but there's not much. When something is trapped in a soul gem, and then the energy is used for powering an enchantment, the remnants are sent here. Well, I think it's specifically the black ones. I don't know if the Soul Cairn takes just any leftovers. Look at this place. Do you think anything would want to live here? The only things that can survive here are the ideal masters, the undead, and the souls themselves. Well, if you want to call that living. I don't think anyone's ever met the Ideal Masters. I'm not even sure anyone knows what they look like. They could be underground, flying above us. They might be the ground. I have no idea. Lots of theories. Some say they feed on them like I feed on blood. Others think they use them as payment for an even higher power. Almost like a currency. A very strange currency. Whatever they're doing with them, they've been harvesting for millennia. No telling how many souls are trapped here. Look around you. There are some extremely powerful undead here. Even a necromancer as seasoned as my mother would be willing to spend years trying to gain access to them. Exactly. It's a lost art. Most necromancers just raise up whatever bodies are nearby. A simple trick, really. Child's play. But bringing something from the Soul Cairn gives you something much more powerful. Well, that's usually the trick. It's possible to do it through a simple portal. But to finalize the deal, you have to travel here yourself. And most of them never come back. No, but there's no way she would have left it in Tamriel. She wanted to get it as far away from my father as possible. I can't imagine a better place. Then we find out where she hid it, if she's still alive. Well, as alive as she was before. Or is now. Or... you know what I mean. Probably to avoid whatever my father would do to her if he got his hands on her. Or maybe her plan was to come back, but she was stuck here. We won't know until we find her.
Well, I'm here, if you need me. You'd think a vampire would be right at home in this place. Ah, oh, the smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. What a horrible place. I'd heard stories about the Soul Can, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's... About what I... The screams! They pierce my mind! I can't stand it! Nice work. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature. And he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Look at this place. I can't imagine choosing to come here. My mother must have been terrified. I was just thinking about how concerning it is that a Thalmor, of all people, is an advisor to the College of Winterhold. I sure hope the Archmage can keep a close eye on Encano. He rubs me the wrong way. Place is this? I live in a dark world where no light shines through. I carry this burden with every step I take. feel terrible for the dead who end up here for eternity. Seems awful, like they're still suffering. Look at this place. I can't imagine choosing to come Oh, it's on.
You'd think a vampire would be right at home in this place. You'd be wrong. Let's just find my mother and get out of here, quickly. Mother? Mother! Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it! How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a minute. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? N no you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the Sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the Eye of the Dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana? This stranger may call himself a vampire, but he knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to him? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, sir. If you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So, to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about? You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again, but I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. 
But we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. I hope this is important. Yes. It was expected of her. Yes, you survived the ordeal. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. I see. We're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that care nothing for Serana. If you believe that... Idiot! You're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Serana has sacrificed everything to Molik Ball. Now, she's the daughter of Cold Harbor, the pure-blooded vampire. Nothing else matters. If anything happens to Serana, I'll have you answer for it. Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. The Ideal Masters unleashed their Keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other, to see which will give in. I know very little about them. They're mystic entities. The Lord over the Soul Cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. 
Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the soul cairn. I believe there's more to it than that. I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. Conduits, through which the ideal masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. The Ideal Master's weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the Ideal Masters wind up here as harvested souls. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. If you want that scroll, the barrier needs to come down. Be careful. Let's kill those and keep my daughter safe and get back to the prison. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Relieved, I think. All those things had been building up for a while. You have no idea how long I wanted to say that to her. Look, I loved my father, but when he found that prophecy, that became his life. Everything else, even me and my mother, we just became clutter. I was close with my mother, but she just kept feeding me her opinions of him, and eventually, I started believing them. Like I said, we were never very close. Not a lot of father-daughter bonding, if you know what I mean. But once we threw our lot in with Molag Ball, people just don't think about their families anymore. Power takes precedence, he always said. I was. Honestly, it took me up until now to figure out that my mother was really just as bad as he was. He was obsessed with power. She was obsessed with seeing him fail. It was just so... Toxic. Maybe I could have seen this coming. We could all be better off now. That's easy to say, but I, I definitely didn't help things. Anyway, we should keep moving. The sooner we get out of this place, the better. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know what I mean.